What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Romanic Game Master, I'm 343 back at it once again, and today, I was actually brought this to my attention from my good friend Dante's Rant Room. If you guys actually haven't subscribed to him, please go subscribe to him. He's only four subscribers away from hitting 1,000 subscribers. And if you actually do subscribe to him, tell him Mr. Anime343 sent you. He'll actually, uh, he'll know who I am because he and I are good friends. But according to Dante's Rant Room, he's actually found out that a certain po political for blah. Sorry, I'm a little tongue-tied here because I can't even think straight because of what one Hassan Piker said about Rebecca from Cyberpunk Edge Runners, and that was, if you actually like Rebecca, then you're actually considered a P to the E to the D to the O. And if you can actually correlate fictional characters with actual kids, that's actually a you problem, not a me problem, because I can actually tell the difference between reality, whereas people these days can't really seem to get the grasp of it. But, you know, this guy actually has a wicked bad case of open mouth, insert foot. Because, let's just face it, the guy's actually just trying to look for attention. Uh, hold on just a second. Sorry, my fan was going and I'm shutting it off right now. forgot that I actually left it on. But anyway, back to the whole Hassan Piker thing. If you actually really think that lines on paper actually makes someone a quote-unquote Peter, all I gotta say is, show me the damn receipts. Because, you know, our our good friend and fellow anime connoisseur, Resus Desu, has been constantly called out by multiple people, including, like, you know, Grimsy, Xander Hall, those kinds of guys. They always choose to go after someone that is bigger instead of actually you know listening to a smaller creator like my because heck i'm only at like 382 right now and i'm thankful that you know 382 people took the time to actually subscribe to my channel and i'm still for 399 and 400 because i still actually have two goals i want to meet 399 399 for the uh, one chip challenge and 400 for the top 20 has bondos and I should actually even get started on that but that's going to be a little bit tricky for me though because it's kind of like you know there's like a lot of like anime dudes that are just really nice looking and stuff like that but back to the whole Hassan Piker thing he this was actually from a article written by Looper. And this is why I don't trust, you know, all these, like, clickbait arts. Because 9 times out of 10, you're, you're actually just reading blah, fake news. Because these people just want to push political activism, like Hassan. If you're actually going to sit there and say, like, if you like a certain character, then you're considered a pedo. How how does that even work? I'm still freaking mind baffled about like what you just said. And he's just actually looking for more attention. Seriously. If your thing is politics, focus on politics. Don't bring politics to everything. Keep it away from certain forms of entertainment. Whether it's actually TV shows, whether it's video games, whether it's comic books, whether it's anime and manga, doesn't matter. If you actually go and try to push a narrative against people like us, you know, sure we might be considered degenerates, but I usually go by the saying, embrace your degeneracy as long as it's legal, doesn't harm you or anyone else. See, these people don't and being a degenerate doesn't technically make you a criminal. I mean, if you break a law, then you're a criminal, and it's only a crime if you get caught. But these people just really want to waste fair dollars, you know, hours among hours of work, 
and like you know valuable resources to actually go after actual criminals and they want to actually legitimately criminalize law-abiding citizens that do not have any interest in IRL kids myself included I mean when think that this whole freaking guilt by association through a fandom or something makes you a typical quote-unquote bad guy it's like what the hell what did we do to deserve this why are we actually being targeted for harassment by people that think going after certain types of individuals that agree with their opinions it's okay to actually not agree with me but don't be an asshole okay that's all i gotta say I can actually be a total asshole if you treat me like one. But if you actually treat me with respect, like, you know, give me, like, you know, if you actually truly respect my opinions but you disagree, that's fine. As long as my opinions are respected and you actually have a difference of opinion, I'm more than actually willing to, to hear it. But don't go shoving your opinions down my throat, and I sure as hell don't want you guys thinking that, Oh, I, I'm actually in the right. You know, I don't want you guys to be a hive mind. I want you to think for yourselves. Make your own, like, uh, make your own thoughts, your own opinions. Everybody should have a right to actually think differently from one another. Don't believe, you know, all this, like, hive mind bullcrap. In fact, I'm not trying to force a hive mind on you guys. I want you guys, like I said, to think for yourselves. Don't think like me. It's okay if you disagree with me, but as long as you re respect my opinions and are willing to honestly, you know, have a thoughtful and healthy, like, debate about it, you know, I welcome it because we actually do need to actually have a difference of opinion. That's what being human is about, having a difference of opinion. But that's all I got to think about that, guys. If you really guys really enjoyed this, please smash the like button. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that notification bell for future updates. Let's get to 399 so I can actually do the infamous. <laughs> oh, I'm getting so close to this. The infamous one chip challenge. I've been holding on to this. And I really want to get this done as soon as possible. But as always, guys, just remember these four things. Respect the life as a fan service. Enjoy your fandoms. Embrace your degeneracy. As long as it's legal, doesn't harm you or anyone else. Enemy is freedom. And until the next time we meet again, this is Mr. Anime343 saying, God, anime, big to the white boo. Fucking speed. <laughs>